Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm not at my desk in my chair. I had a question. Someone asked me how to set up a GoPro time lapse for 3D printing. Uh, I, I do it a couple different ways. I, I, I attach the GoPro to the bed, and then I set my GoPro with specific settings. Uh, I'll show you how I do it. You ready? Go. <laughs> All right, hey, there you are. Thanks for sticking around. So this is my G-Max 1.5 XT Plus, and as you can tell, it's got a very large bed. It uses a, a metal carriage to hold the sanded acrylic on top, and I've I've built my, my GoPro mount specifically for this bed, and that's why I'm gonna show you. So you see these pieces laid out here, and the reason I have these pieces here is because this is, well, this is a RepRap style, so the, the bed moves in the Y direction. And for the best time-lapse images, you're going to want the camera attached to the bed. It's easy with a Cartesian printer because you just stick it somewhere. The bed doesn't move, but in a RepRap printer, you need to attach it to the bed. So that's, that's what I do here. I took some measurements, and I know that the bed itself is a certain size. And what I could do is, let's see, I'm going to turn this around. I could make a, a specific little mount that I could then attach this piece right here. This is the GoPro tripod mount, and this has been invaluable. I think it's like 10 bucks. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it. It has a standard tripod threaded nut on the bottom and a GoPro mount on the top. And I, I got a corresponding screw that's of tripod size. And what I do is screw that down like this. It doesn't have to be super tight. And if you look, there we go. I now have a GoPro mount attached to the moving bed of my G-Max printer. A lot of my early time lapses you saw where, where I had the camera mounted here and pointed up and it you kind of I remember when I was printing that Boudicles for for Barnacles Nerdgasm channel. Well, you could look right up Jerry's nose when I was filming that with his time lapse. So I thought, well, I need to come up with a better way, and I did. If you look on Thingiverse, someone made these cool arms for for GoPro mounts, and I'll put the link in the description for these as well. This is this is invaluable, and I'll show you why. I can attach the camera much much higher. And I know that if a print is going to be this tall, rather than the camera looking up like this, I want it to look square on. So with this mount, I can adjust the camera so that it's going to be semi midline to, to the print as it's printing. Here, let me attach it. That goes in like so. up top. So one of the things I could have done when I printed this is I could have drilled out the holes a little bit better, but I I didn't. <laughs> of course not. Why would I do that? There we go. So now look at this. I've got a GoPro attached to an arm attached to the metal bed and the GoPro moves along with the bed. That's fantastic, right? It works, it works out really well. And then it is easily, easily adjusted, just like so. Now I'm showing you on my G-Max 1.5 XT Plus printer, but there are tons of other 3D printers with, with moving beds like this. And so be creative. You can use clamps, you can use tape, whatever, whatever it takes to get the camera in a good position to record your time lapse. Just, just go for it. All right, the other thing that you need to take into consideration is the setting for the GoPro itself. GoPro time lapses are an image sequence that's that's captured. So on the GoPro 3 and 3 Plus, you can it's a it's a sequence of JPEG images that you can put together. On the GoPro Hero 4, which I have here, GoPro actually creates a movie from the images that it snaps at the intervals you specify. It's super handy. Uh, I picked up I picked up this GoPro. Amazon was having a special and 
they called it the Amazon truck. And I, I picked up that GoPro for more than half off. It was, I even asked my wife and she said I could do it. So that's, that's why I did it. But, but with the GoPro, you have to set it correctly because you have to take into account the amount of memory you have on the memory card inside. So what I usually do is I will, I will set it to the smallest photo size because the smallest photo size is still way bigger than, than the biggest video size that I publish at. I publish at 1080p right now and the smallest photo size on the GoPro 3 was 5 megapixel. On the GoPro 4, you can actually set the video resolution for your, for your time lapse. It's kind of cool. So here is what you need to do for, for setting the GoPro right. Think about it this way. How long is your print going to take? The Barnacles print was roughly 24 hours. Let's say it was 24 hours. I set the GoPro to take one image every 30 seconds. That gives me two pictures a minute, which means 120 pictures an hour. And that means 1,200 photos every 10 hours. So let's see, I'm gonna do math here. 1,200 and 1,200, 2,400, and then a spare change. Let's just use 2,400 because it's easy to do the math that way. So 2,400 photos. Well, how long is that gonna be for a time-lapse? If you do it at 30 frames per second, well, 30, that's that's what, 80, 80 seconds. That's 80 seconds of video because it's gonna show 30 frames a second. So when you, when you build your time lapse, you have to take those sort of numbers into consideration. Just remember, well, how long, work backwards. How long is this print gonna take? Okay, it's gonna take this long. Well, now, now you have the starting number and then, and then spitball how, long you want your time lapse to be. Now remember like I use Adobe Premiere. You can always you can always resize your your time lapse footage and you can speed it up or slow it down to to make it fit the the song or the space you need, but but using these numbers in advance kind of at least gets you in the ballpark of of where you want to be. Well, all right, that's that's it. I I showed you how to set up a GoPro. I I told you how to attach it to at least a G-Max bed. You can figure it out on your own bed. And then I gave you a heads up on the best way to set the settings for the GoPro to get the time-lapse footage you want. Right on. Well, hey, thanks for this. As always, like this video if this was something that provided you some value. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this. A big thanks to my patrons who, who support me at patreon.com. I'm working on updating that patron, patron slide. I'm, <laughs> I've gotten a, a huge influx of patrons lately, so, so I'm working on it. I promise to get that slide going. I'll see what I can do, you know, after this video. All right, well, I hope I hope this was good. I know this was a short video. This wasn't the common format that I use, but it should give you an idea of of what to do and kind of how I work, at least with, with doing a, a time lapse. All right, well, hey, thanks for coming along. See you next time. As always, high five.